like I said, there's a couple ways that I'm going to get end up with both hands on his neck. You know, he went jab and I blocked, and I went here and and you know I just he, he didn't have a real tight guard like you know he let me kind of push him, pull him in. Uh, you know when I, I got here the hand was kind of wide and I just came in. I did one of these dirty boxing things to get the two hands on. But let's just say for now, right, that I have the two hands on the neck and the elbows are in. So remember. He can't run away from the knees now because I have the two hands on the back of his neck. And he can't just hug me because my elbows are going to create the distance. Right? My elbows are like a, like a wall. My forearms and my elbows are like a frame that keeps him away. And my hips will go back to give me the distance to land the knees. If he tries to shoot from here, I have the, the length of my arms, so it's very hard for him to get under. So now what we want to do is we want to talk about four knees. If he's not careful, I'm going to roll him down and kind of put his forehead like on my chest. The reason I want to do this is that once he's here, it's easy for me to knee him in the face. So the first knee is just the knee comes straight up into the hand. So remember, his head was in my hands here. So if I'm doing this, this is just going straight up. We don't do that in amateur for obvious reasons. Uh, <laughs> and second, you won't even see it that much in pro though because again, he has to, to not know the clinch enough to let me do that. And he won't do that because as soon as I grab him, he's going to bring his hips forward, his head up and his elbows in and his shoulders in. Right? And you can see that here, I'm not going to get that knee to that. It's good to know and later I'll show you there's some things you could do to bump and and create him, you know, pull him down a little bit. But it's still a very, very rarely seen knee as far as practical application. By far, the other three knees are the ones you're going to see more, which is a body knee. He's coming in, he's coming in, you know. He's trying to give me pressure. Remember earlier I showed you that you can't, it's very hard to get knee if the guy keeps moving forward, right? If I'm just trying to knee you, just move forward, and I'm just doing this to try to knee you, it's not going to happen. So I have to pop my hips back and my elbows in. Then I have the body knee. The body knee goes up and in like an uppercut, 45 degree angle. Boom. And then you have, with all the knees, you have that skip forward, which is when you knee, you come down, you bring the other one back. Because if I just go knee, 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 he blocks, blocks, blocks. If I keep switching up the knee, my chances of landing are a lot better. So I go knee, down, switch. These are body knees, up and in. So without him there, I'm, I'm making sure that my hips go back and my elbows are in, and the knee is coming up and in. My shoulders will come back, so my hip will go forward. Boom, these are body knees. <laughs> these are very common, they're very effective. If he's got a lot of pressure and he's done a lot of clinching, and it's hard for me to do this because every time I do it, he comes in. Every time I try to bring my hips back, he still comes in. Okay, or he gets like, he doesn't hug me, but he gets his arms kind of around me exactly like this and I don't get a lot of space. So then you have slapping knees, up and around. Right, these are slaps. They're not gonna kill him, but you do them enough and they're gonna take the wind out of him. They're gonna make him think that he's gotta do something and they create opportunities. And so these are just up and around. I'm using the bone on the inside of the knee to come in. And then my personal favorite is, you know, he'll have his, he'll be always looking for these, so he may even have his elbows in to protect his body like this. So then I just knee him in the thighs, wherever they are. He's a rabbit knees. You all right? Oops. These are rabbit knees. They just go into the thighs. They can be slapping, angling whatever. So what I want you to do is just start off two hands on the neck. Never train to be the victim, so don't let the head come down. Keep your, your head up, bring your shoulders in, bring your hips in, and then we're not going to do full resistance, what we'll do is we'll play. We'll play with first one, hips back, body knee. Hips back, body knee. You can do skip knee, knee down switch, knee down switch. You can stay here close and work your...